I'm Brian Brewer, author of the book Eclipse, third edition, and I'm here at Ada's Books to give you three pointers that you need to know about this summer's total solar eclipse. So the first thing you need to know is you need to be inside this path of totality. And I recommend that you go to on the web and find NASA's interactive eclipse map and make sure that you're in here. For example, if you're in either Portland or Eugene, you're outside the path of totality and you won't experience the dramatic effects. The second thing that you need to know is how to use proper eye safety when you're viewing the eclipse. For about an hour before and an hour after this two minutes of totality, they will have the partial phases of the eclipse and it's dangerous to look directly at those. What you want to do is you want to have some of these eclipse glasses that you, uh, they're, very, they're cardboard, they're very inexpensive, you can get them a lot of places and online, and you put these over your eyes to look up at the partial phases of the eclipse. But then during the two minutes or so of totality, you want to make sure you take these things off so you can actually see the beauty of the solar corona. And you might even want to have a pair of binoculars for part of that two minutes to uh, catch some of the detail in the corona. The third point about the summer solar eclipse is get ready to experience awe. Awe is a marvelous emotion that scientists have studied. It has a lot of benefits about uh, relaxing our nervous system. It's, it's that feeling of being blown away when you see something spectacular. And so it, it, most people describe uh, seeing totality as just a, a magnificent spectacle. And it's rare and fleeting, and so I encourage you to go. And the one thing I recommend you take for that is go and with a bottle of champagne so that we, you'll feel like toasting the totality once you see it. And of course, if you happen to get clouded out, which I hope you aren't, then uh, you have something to drown your sorrows with. So, best wishes for clear skies.